You're listening to Dan. I'm David Stjernholm and today's episode is about the necessity of taking regular breaks. But first, people who get inconveniently many results when they're searching for an email in Outlook often don't use the search function's full capabilities. I have found a guide that taught me how to use better search terms and find the right email quicker. And I'd like to share it with you. You'll find the link in the show notes. One effect of working from home rather than in the office for such a long period as many of us have done recently is for some that meetings become more frequent, as it's no longer possible to briefly pop in to a colleague to just check in with them quickly about something. Some also struggle more with auditory distractions now compared to when they worked in the office, because at home they might be surrounded by family members who also work from home, or who are at home for other reasons. Others, on the other hand, are less exposed to interruptions than usual because colleagues aren't working around them and don't have as many meetings. As a result, they may instead work continuously with concentration for long periods of time, forgetting to take the breaks they would otherwise get as they go for coffee with colleagues at the same time each day. Not taking breaks takes its toll not least on your attention to the task at hand and, by extension, on the quality of your work. In a 2010 study presented in an article titled Brief and Rare Mental Breaks Keep You Focused, Deactivation and Reactivation of Task Goals Preempt Vigilance Decrements. University of Illinois researchers Ariga and Yeras found that two short breaks during a 50-minute session of constant work on a task made the test subjects maintain attention on the task to a greater extent than subjects who took no breaks during the session. The researchers drew a parallel to the phenomenon of seeing something for so long that you eventually don't see it anymore, such as a sticky note you pasted somewhere to remind you of something, for example. Another example is hearing a fan noise for so long that you don't hear that there's a fan making noise until it's turned off and you hear that the noise has disappeared. Someone who works on a task for a long time continuously soon loses focus and no longer pays full attention to what he or she is working on. So, in order to maintain the quality of what we do, it seems to be wise to take breaks once in a while. Do this. If you recognize that you can tend to forget to take a break and that this has a negative impact on the work you do, make an effort today to find out what an appropriate number of breaks is for you. Try a few different break frequencies throughout the day. For a couple of hours, take a short break every 20 minutes, meaning about three times an hour. For a couple of hours after that, take a break once an hour. And for the last hours of the day, take a short break every half hour. Notice what you seem to enjoy most. Of course, this may vary throughout the day, depending on your circadian rhythm, the kind of tasks you do, or something else. So you may be able to spread the testing out over several days. Still, you should at least get an idea of how often it suits you to take a short break so that you can regain concentration on the task at hand. Because... If you get into the habit of taking breaks reasonably often, even when there are no outside stimuli prompting you to do so, such as colleagues, you'll find it easier to keep your concentration on the task you need to get done now. You'll work on it with a steady focus and perform it with higher quality than you otherwise would, judging by the results presented in the article I mentioned earlier. How often does it suit you to take a short break if you don't get one automatically? Write to me at david at stjernholm.com and tell me. I'm one of those who find it easy to get lost in task for a long time, so I'm curious to hear what works for you. Thanks for listening to today's Done, and see you again next week. Mm-hmm.